guys back to FRN. I want to thanks all for the guys, the new subscribers, for the likes. Thank you for comment. Thanks for it. Thank you for everything. And in this video, I'll be reviewing the most badass adventure slash fishing kayak out there. Yeah, Angler 120X from Pelican. Snow starts to fade out slowly but surely. So we're, we're there's still a month before I can go out and test it out. But I'm gonna take you around and show you the, all the quirks and features about this 120X Angler kayak from Pelican. So the question you're maybe uh, asking yourself is why in the hell did you have a 12 foot kayak in your house? I'm gonna answer you, I wanted to uh, add some option on it and I wanted, to, uh, I wanted to do it comfortably in the heat of my house and we're gonna begin in the top part of the kayak. We got this handle to uh, which uh, you can uh, <clears throat> use to take the kayak out and in the water. We got this sealed storage compartment. You get those two locks to lock it up. And you undo it to unlock it. Here we got my hat. We got a bunch of things. We got a cooler. We got many, many space to, to put a lot of things. This is basically inside the hole so it's supposed to be watertight but here they warn you that it is it may be not a hundred percent watertight but I'm pretty confident that uh, this storage is a hundred percent watertight so here we had a, an accessory that I had since you uh, you guys know when you go on the water maybe you want to drink sometimes uh, so uh, this kayak didn't come with any cup holders uh, This is uh, maybe one of the, the downside of it that it didn't have any cup holders. So I, I went out and uh, buy a car cup holder and I adapted it with uh, put it tapes on the bottom and um, With large screws and washers to secure it properly uh, on the hole and this is the uh, a standard accessory uh, which is a uh, fishing rod uh, holder which rotate you can remove it like that you can change the, the angle of it and you got you got no, those little spline at the bottom you need to put it correctly in there just like that Another quirks and features about this kayak, you get a ruler here, since it's a fishing kayak, uh, when you buy the Angler product, uh, you'll, you'll, have, um, you'll have a ruler to measure your fish everywhere. So you see uh, with this, uh, I noticed this, I put it on the wrong side, so I'll flip those on the other side. It's a little mistake that I made. Here you have the adjustable pedal. You take them forward and you can adjust the position uh, depending how tall, how tall you are. Those are skipper plugs, scupper plugs. Uh, when you buy the kayak, it doesn't have the scupper plugs. I had to buy those. It cost, uh, it cost about uh, 25 bucks bah, with the shipping. Um, you you want to buy those to add a little buoyancy. Uh, this kayak is rated for 350 pounds of uh, storage capacity. When they, and they say when you had the scupper plugs, uh, you basically uh, uh, add up to the storage capacity of the kayak. So I don't know how much you had it, but 
they're supposed to add a little bit of storage capacity when you have the, the scoper plug and it will keep your foot dry when you when you are in a river or a more agitated river this is this is the seat the adjustable seat with the pad and the ergo fit that is really comfortable i tried it before and it's really comfortable going backward all all the strapping you know here i have this place uh, i strapped my survival survival backpack use this kayak as an adventure kayak to find, uh, go out and uh, explore the area so this is why i bought it, those bungee cords to secure the most uh, cargo and stock out there i want to talk about this storage compartment first this is the smallest storage compartment on the kayak but it's also the most uh, watertight it gets you into the hull, the hull of the, the kayak, but there's a, a small bag, a watertight bag. So this is the place where you want to put your cell phone, your wallet, your keys, all the, the sensible. So you, you want to be sure that it, it, it doesn't get water into it. So you have a rubber seal on the edge, nicely sealed cargo in there and it's cool it screws nicely like that and you know it's nice and secure I get this backup ram or for the helper in the back on the two sides you see there's those others two fishing rod holders in the back if you if you want to have a tree rod at the same time you can't this seats normally this in the back it's a big storage area but i converted it into a um, an additional uh, sitting area for my son or for my for a helper or whatever i can just put maybe my survival backpack in there with my knife my axe and everything so this seat is an added option that i bought it's a canoe seat that's foldable i put it from some foam on the on the back not to damage the the hole when there's weight on it I got my water shoes the kx come with the only bungee cord it comes is this one in the back so when you have passenger or maybe more cargo you can remove those by unhooking those those straps we move a little bit backward and here I found another way to optimize and have the more storage capacity. I use this handle to strap a bungee cord throughout this coil into that other bungee cord. Then to add up an additional storage area for a cooler, uh, whether it's for food or drink. I found it nice to have a bit more um, storage capacity by adding a cooler up there. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, it's a really nice kayak for your adventure. The hull is a lifetime warranty, so you can go out in the water and have the peace of mind. And I can't wait to try it. So I hope you guys enjoy. And until next time, keep on wrenching.